what up guys welcome welcome back to the channel today i got a 2013 mercedes-benz e350 now today i'm going to be replacing the battery okay so first step it's under there on the left side we will pull to open the hood and then we are going to be putting a new battery in this thing because every time you hit the button to start it up it just it just won't start all right so um first things first battery passenger side right under the air box all right so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that cap off another one on the other side we'll pull that off also and then here in the back we can just pull it up and then we could remove that make sure you don't lose it it comes out you can sit it up there just hold the air box and pull it out move it to the side the battery is right here right move the cap put that away and then of course uh, that's the number to the battery right there all right so now because these cars don't like to be disconnected from the power because of the ecm what i'll have to do is i'm just going to put a jump box you know the connect a jump box here connect the jump box there you know and then take the power off and then remove this there is a screw down here which i think is 10 millimeter which is right down there you guys can see right there the 12 or 10 millimeter okay so let me get the jump box and get started here's my jump box that i'm going to be using all right so 13 millimeters loose all we have to do is just get our hands down there and be careful not to lose that 13 millimeter bolt Now, the battery should be loose. There's the plate. So that's the plate that secured the battery, and that sits right down there. That's what the 13 millimeter was holding on to. Now we're gonna sit that over to the side also. And then now we can start by connecting our um, jumper box. Actually, we might want to start, we might want to loosen these first. This is a 10 millimeter. Remember that does not open all the way. It doesn't come completely off. It just opens just enough for you to be able to lift this um, cable up. And same thing on this side. If you try to force it, you'll of course ruin it. So now we have constant power still going to this vehicle and we'll just have to take these cables off one by one and try to keep them away from everything so this is the negative so you can definitely touch the wall here with no problem the only concern is the positive side that you don't want that to be touching anything all right now that's off. all all right so here what i did so i've just placed something here with some leather in it and then move um, jumper box back here, along with the cables, they're all out of the way. And now all I have to do is just hold on to this and actually it should just lift right up. I'm gonna need two hands for this one. So let me go ahead and undo that right now. So got the new battery in. Um, please don't forget to actually remove this thing from the side of the battery this actually helps the battery breathe it sticks into the side right there i think i just pulled on mine a little bit you know uh and i didn't remove it at first so please do not forget to do that okay it's very important and just slide that back in and then i can just easily connect the breathing tube so we sit it in place remember it needs to be sitting inside of the groove on the other side right there there's a groove there's a groove that the battery is sitting on the other side you slide that direction and then of course you can just easily put your frame your frame back in uh, that frame right there
All right, perfect. Now I just need to get my 13 millimeter back in. All right, 13 millimeter back down. Now let's start by installing uh, these cables. Be nice to remove that cover. Now we can uh, we can just easily remove this. Turn the jumper box off. Move the jumper box, and this is in place. So now I just gotta grab my millimeter, tighten this thing back up, tighten that one up. Put the cap, red cap on. This piece that came off the top of the air filter or the air filter box, we will just um, see that back in place now. Slide that right back over. Insert that in that place. One. Then the next one on the opposite side. And that's how you replace the battery on this 2013 Mercedes Benz E Class or Flex Fuel model piece. Thanks for watching.